Hey everybody, this is our answers for our uh, midterm test for energy and on our first question you see we have a picture here of a, just a random set of things like we've done in class and it sells two, two types of energy that are shown in this picture. So what you probably want to do is try and list all that you can find and we put these on, we've got radiant energy coming out of the light bulb because you can see it. You also know that light bulbs get warm to the touch. They give off a lot of thermal energy. We've got electrical energy over in the, uh, the battery and that's being created by the chemical energy that's in the battery. And then we have thermal energy in the wire because we have the movement of electrons. You can actually see that in your toasters at home if you have a thin enough wire. So for the first question, really, any two in the picture you can write down here wouldn't matter and if you didn't get all these as long as you get two of them you can list any of those two right down there okay the next question is well where in the picture is their potential energy well the place with the potential energy is the battery okay so and it's when the light is not on but it really has potential energy the whole time until the battery is dead uh, but at any rate it's the battery is where you have stored energy and then where in the picture is their kinetic energy? Again, we have a lot of choices in here. So you can see what we wrote. We wrote, take your pick because we have kinetic energy in the electrons flowing through the wire. We have kinetic energy in the thermal energy coming off of the light bulb because we know that heat causes movement of molecules. And we also know there, of course, is radiant energy, which is moving out in waves into space. So you could do any of those. There's a lot of different places where energy is in its kinetic form. Basically, remember, anytime energy is being used to do work, which is happening all the way throughout this, then it is kinetic energy. And then finally, the final question is, Tell, so we see it. Tell, tell where in the picture there is an energy transformation occurring. The key, be sure to tell the point that it's happening. Don't just say it's this energy going to this other energy. You have to say when. And there's a lot of different ones in this picture, just like we've done in class. And so here are the ones that we put out. We could say chemical to electro, electrical when the battery is made. We could say electrical to thermal as the current moves through the wire. Uh, because the current is in motion and we know that causes friction. Electrical to radiant when the light is on and electrical to thermal when the light is on. Again, the key, make sure you put the second part of this. If you just write electrical to thermal, you get no credit. You have to tell where it's occurring or when it's occurring. And that's it for the front side of your test. Okay, question number two asks you to list five types of energy and give an example of each. And again, there are many, many possible answers for these. We just listed some. Chemical, there's food, electrical, lightning, thermal, a heater, radiant sunlight, mechanical spring, gravitational water behind a dam, motion, swimming, and nuclear powers the sun. Again, there are many different options to describe those different energies. Number three, below <clears throat> are six molecules or atoms. If they are cooled down, cooled down, tell two changes that will happen to the molecule atoms. Be specific about what the change will be. If we cooled those atoms down, we know that our model is going to show that our molecules are going to get closer together and they're going to slow down. And finally, question number four, how will the density of a substance change when it's cooled off? Explain why this is the case. Again, if we take our example from above, the density increases because the same amount of mass takes up less space. That alters the volume, but not the mass. And that's it. Everybody have a good test.